If you're heading outside uh, late this evening, <laughs> I'm not sure why you would be, but maybe a late night walk with the dog, That's a jacket. It. A jacket is in order. Uh, and you may have a little bit of drizzle out there. There could be third shifters heading into work. And, right and maybe a sweater for the family pet. Yeah, too. sweater <laughs> sweater for the family pet. But you're not going to need it after tomorrow morning because no. we're going to warm things up. But you may want to get it out again tomorrow night. Uh, okay, we've scared it too far. Right. So 50 <laughs> is where we are in Perry. Still a little bit of a breeze out there, but uh, not what it was earlier when that wedge came through. It just quickly dropped the numbers. And so we're looking at 40s for tomorrow morning. A bit drizzly out there. All right, so here's a look again at the map, and you can just see clearly where the wedge is. It's where it gets its name, the shape of a wedge here. And see in 40s, some low 50s, and again, as we zoom in, this is the big story going on because the rain is pretty much gone other than the drizzle. So we're seeing some uh, low 50s becoming upper 40s. All right, so plenty of clouds out there. No shortage of that, but that's going to change tomorrow. We should start to see things break apart to let the sun come in. And again, the little drizzly stuff, we see some of it will show up on the radar, but most of it is just um, basically invisible to the radar underneath all that. It's in that low level of clouds as you're driving through. You just have to hit the wipers every once in a while. So that's if you're out walking the dog tonight or the cat, whatever. Here's a look at future view shows clouds starting to move toward the south as we head toward tomorrow morning. Sunshine trying to peek on through here as we go through the day. There's tomorrow afternoon and then we'll keep a good thing going as we go into Friday. A lot of sunshine, maybe one or two clouds and then the same thing for this weekend. So if you have outdoor plans, like what we saw this past weekend. Perfect stuff all the way through. Now, the long range model shows this Saturday looking great. And then as we head into Sunday, the same thing. But over the past two weeks, we've had rain to start the week into about the middle of the week, kind of like what we're doing now. Same thing we did last week and then great weekends. Same pattern as we go into this weekend. But then next week, we don't necessarily get right back into the rain again. It looks pretty dry for Monday. Same thing as we get into Tuesday. I have a 10% chance on there or about next Wednesday, just in case something comes together, but it may be out of reach. So we could go on at least a week long dry spell, but back to the numbers 40s in the morning tomorrow afternoon. And we'll see where we end up with the sun out. Uh, I think we could average around 70. We could have some low 70s, some upper 60s out there. We'll see how it goes tomorrow night into Friday morning, as I mentioned, back to the 40s again. And then Friday afternoon starting to pull things back up into the mid 70s. This will take us into Saturday morning where we still could have some 40s and then Saturday afternoon starting to bring things up more mid to upper 70s. So here's a look at the seven day and it's a beaut, Clark. It shows, uh, man, I'm going to say upper 60s tomorrow. We could have some numbers a little bit above that and then mid 70s, upper 70s, low 80s by Sunday and then mid 80s coming back in for next week. That 10% chance says just in case. Otherwise, it may be dry all across the board.